everyone. I'm finally back after a seven month absence. Um, in the meantime, I had moved to Hawaii and Kona and I was remodeling and there's just more things to do here, getting settled. I've been doing some experimenting, but today for my first time back, I'm going to be doing some pearl pour experiments with different base coats. So there's going to be four um, 8x10s and the colors are all going to be the same but the base coat, the pearl, is going to be different. So I'll show you each recipe um, on, on each experiment I do. But this, um, these paints, here's a picture right here of the paints I'm using. By the way, this black looks blue but I use I reuse this plastic it's black it's artist lock flow acrylic black it doesn't it looks blue but it's not so um, when I hold up each one you could take a screenshot of each experiment base pearl pour so I'm just trying to see if I can use products that I can get here in Hawaii it's sort of like California where they don't allow a lot of I don't know, bad things for the environment or whatever reason. So let's get to experimenting. I made sure I'm legal, I mean, I'm level here. Uh, excuse the noise. I, my studio is now out on the lanai. So you're gonna get some background noise going on with birds and cars and stuff. All right, so let's get going here. Okay, this first one is one part artist soft white, one part bare satin enamel. Um, that satin enamel is, let me show you, sorry, I should have had it out. That's this one. This was a sample and I got it last year here. Um, ultra pure white satin and it really doesn't give me a number. I don't know if this is 7300, I don't know if it's 7356, I don't know, but it's this one. I'll get into the 7300 in, in just a minute. So let me show you again. One part Artist Loft Flow White. That's the old school, and I happen to have a couple bottles. One part Bare Satin Enamel, what I just showed you. A half a part Flow Troll, half a part Liquitex Pouring Medium, and a quarter part GAC 800. So that's the white cloud pearl mixture right here. Let me give that a stir. So I have, none of the colors I'm using have any metallics in them. I, for some reason, I have a hard time with getting metallics to pearl up. But um, what's mixed in the colors is just about 50. Um, 50% Floetrol, quarter percent, um, uh, what is it, Liquitex pouring medium, medium and one quarter GAC 800. And then water to thin. I still need to thin it, up, thin it out. So I'll be right back and we'll get started. All right, I'm ready to go here. So use canvas. Um, I do experiments. I try to use these canvas because I never know how they're going to turn out and I can always replicate um, if it does turn out on a bigger canvas. So let's get going. Make sure I get plenty off. Now this consistency is very thin. It's not water, it's like, I don't know, half and half maybe, milk. A little bit thinner. But if you're having problems getting pearls, besides the recipe, this, you know, you could be doing, have the recipe right and not get pearls because it's too thick. 
and if you don't tilt and get enough off. It's another reason. So I think we're good there. I got a goober here. <clears throat> For my colors, they're all so thin. Sometimes I liked, in this case, <clears throat> my colors are li just a little bit thicker than the base. Not very much, almost the same, but maybe a little bit thicker. I find I have better luck that way. Okay, I'm going to, <clears throat> I think I want some negative space, so. And I'm gonna sandwich some of these colors and some I'm not. That way I'll get a good experiment on what works and what colors work. this Put some by itself Just a little bit more. <clears throat> I hope that's enough color on there. Look a little more black. A lot of that's coming off, but all right, let's get going. Got to get enough off. I see a few pearls starting to come up. Go this way a little bit. see some weird stuff coming up also. So we'll see. So we'll get some off down here. Okay, I'm getting some snake looking things on here. So Let's see what happens.
Okay, I sped that up, and it's been about 10 minutes now. Um, I like experimenting because it also gives me an opportunity to see what colors are purling up better than others because it does make a difference on what paint you use and the colors it just don't ask me why it's weird but um, the yellow isn't doing so well um, a few spots the magenta that's a basics basics seem to pearl better the violet deep violet um, it's mixed together so it's hard to tell the blue is doing okay so I'm gonna leave all these organic because this is an experiment so if I wasn't I'd be messing with this area right here this is weird the white it's like it went over the colors so I don't know what's it's mixed so right here is the white, and right here, some down here, but this is sort of like a gray. I'm not sure why that went over. Maybe I tilted too fast or too vertical. I don't know. So let's get on with the next experiment. I'll come back to these at the end, and we'll see what the final results are. All right, experiment number two. This is the recipe. It's three parts Floetrol, two parts PPG, uh, oh, two and a half parts PPG Satin. That's from um, Home Depot. One part GAC 800, a half part Liquitex Pouring Medium, one part Apple Barrel Matte White, a half a part, um, what is that? Artist Loft Flow White and a half a part Bear 7300. So go ahead and take a screenshot of that. You can read it. So this is a more complicated. I'm just sort of using what I have. Let's see how it goes. Same colors. I'm going to put them on, try to put them on similar. I'm using a, just one of these panels because I'm just experimenting and they're cheap. So I thought, why not use a panel instead of a canvas? So let's get going. Make sure it's down. a little thicker than I'd like it to be. living here in Hawaii. Of course the weather is great every day. It's been dry but then the last week it's been raining in the afternoons which is fine with me. The lanai is covered. We have a view of the ocean. We get to see the whales and boats going out. So if you ever come to Kona, go ahead and message me, email me, and I can send you a list of things that you shouldn't miss. The Big Island. There's, I'm not sure if it's 11 or 14 climates of, of, you know, I think there's 16 in the world or something, and this island has snow and jungles, deserts, 
rainy. This is the dry side, Kona. So it doesn't rain as much here. It'll rain, like I'm looking up on the Hualalai right now, and it looks like it's raining up there, but not down here. All right, let's see if we can do something similar. Green here, I did the last time. And I think at the end I added more black, so let's do a little more black here. That yellow I'm using is a cadmium yellow light hue from Basics. So not all Basics colors work, but the tube paints, <coughs> Amsterdam Basics, um, th those are the ones that seem to work the best. I'll go ahead and just pick this up. Let's see if we can. Don't want to have it slip off. I have to hold it. It's already reacting differently. The colors, I think I left too much white on there, but we'll see. See if these colors will open up a little bit. less paint. All right, birds. Settle. A little less paint, uh, color paint, on this canvas as <clears throat> compared to the last one. Heck of it, I'm going to add a little more color down here and then tilt it off. Just see what happens. Can okay, I bring it back? Get some. I'm sorry. I'm starting to get some pearls uh, at the top here, but I just feel like more needs to come off. So tilting. back the other way just to get it level on the panel. I 
Alright. That's weird. I thought I put about the same amount of paint, but I guess I didn't. It's really faded out. Um, yeah, not as colorful for sure. So we'll see how that goes. I'll put you on, get you down a little bit more. I'll be back in about 10, 15 minutes. So it's been about 15 minutes. The only pearls are right here. I don't know what happened, but um, in this recipe, I think it's the PPG satin. The PPG satin um, from Home Depot. So not all satins will work, um, but this one's cheap, and I thought I'd check it out because uh, it's just a cheaper, cheaper alternative. I think it's $15 a gallon compared to like the 50, 40 or $50 a gallon, uh, the 7300 and the 7356. And uh, there might be a couple other ones that work that are expensive. So this is a fail. I know the PPG works for, if you're doing the Shelly Bloom technique, and it works, um, what is it? Oh, the eggshell works as your pillow. So keep that in mind if you're doing that technique. But anyway, a fail. So let me get set up for the next one. Okay, recipe and experiment number three coming up here. <clears throat> Go ahead and take a screenshot. This one's two parts Artist Loft Flow Acrylic White, three parts Floetrol, one part GAC 800, a half a part Liquitex Pouring Medium, a half a part deco art satin, which is, where is it? Oh, here it is. This, which is really the pearl maker. And a half a part bare 7300 untinted. So that's right here. By the way, all these recipes require some water at the end to get it to a very thin consistency. So. It sinks in. Let's give this a try. I mean, this one has some satin in there, the deco art. This one should do something. Well, let's see. It's kind of too much. I'm using another panel here. bubbles in it. I'm going to get some more of this off. And bring it back. Yeah, I've really missed pouring. Um, it just took a long time to get set up and just get settled here with the remodel. Doing all that takes time in Hawaii. Um, it's just Hawaiian life. <laughs> it 
every day is what I think low 68. Sorry, I don't know what's going on here. A low of 68 and a high uh, in the winter time, a high of 83. Usually it's 80 to 83. In the summertime, it gets. Um, come on, come on. Sorry, it's getting. I don't know why it's doing that. Anyway, in the summertime, it gets warmer. Uh, you can have a high up to 88. Um, the humidity hasn't been bad. I spent the summer here, and it wasn't as bad as I thought it would be. Well, I don't know what's going on with this now. What do I need? All right, let's get going on this. So this is recipe number three. I hope you took a screenshot of that. Where is it? Hopefully you did. Hopefully it wasn't blurry. Okay. Let's see what this does. I'll, I'll do the same thing. Start with the black. The magenta. This is phalo blue with some golden cyan mixed with it, the primary cyan. I love phalo blue. Yellow, curious to see if that's going to pearl at all. And it may be because it's the uh, it's a cadmium yellow. So if I tried another yellow, maybe that would work better. Not sure. Anyway, I've been watching. I just got really back into watching videos. All my friends' videos. Um, you know, of course, Tara and Michelle, they're like the expert on pearl pours. So I, I have fun watching them. And I do have their recipes. I'm just trying something else right now. Um, one thing I don't have is Tara likes the 7356 and the bear and I can't get it here in Hawaii yet. I don't know if they're just out. They didn't seem to know what I was talking about. Um, so give them a watch. They're awesome. They have videos. They're just a talented um, couple of artists that I like along with a ton of others. Let's see what happens here. <clears throat> Don't go up too far there. I maybe should have put more color on here. It's really weird because that first panel I did, or the first canvas I did, and I don't know, could it be because it's a panel? I don't know. That the colors really stayed vibrant. Um, this one's looking better, so it's not the panel. This one looks sort of like the first one. So it's got to be the base, the pearl mix I'm using. The other one's sort of faded. Make sure you get enough off. Keep tilting. I'm gonna grab that edge here. Give it a hand. back. My finger's messing it up up here, but that's okay. It's starting to pearl up. So when it starts to pearl up, you sort of have, you got to be a little quick. 
because you don't want them going wonky. This way, sorry you're out of the picture in this. Okay, I think that's good. Okay. Curious to see if the yellow does something over here. So we'll put you on fast forward time lapse and I'll be back in 10 to 15 minutes. We got some going on right here. So, I'll be back. Aloha. Okay, it's been 10, maybe 15 minutes. I'm a little surprised about this one. You know, it had um, the Artist La Flow white in it. It had the Deco Art Satin and the Bear 7300. I'm, uh, yeah, it, it's weird how the black, the Artist La Black just turns gray. It doesn't even, stay black on this one. If anything, I thought it might have just ate up all the colors. And there's, n you know, I think I got enough paint off of there. So I don't know what's happening. So, I don't know, it's warm, but it's, you know, it's probably 80 right now. But anyway, I'll be right back and let's do number four. Okay, here's the next recipe. Go ahead and take a screenshot. One part bare 7300 untinted, one part Liquitex pouring medium, two parts Deco Art satin white, two parts Floetrol, one part Apple Barrel matte white. So this is number four. Let's see what happens. I just mix it in a cup. It's thin enough. I'm going to thin it just a little bit more. 
when you add water, make sure you just add a little bit at a time. Even though, even if you know that you need a lot, it's still best to add it a little bit at a time. It should be okay. You want to make sure all those waves are gone. When you're tilting, you see a wave, get that wave off. Okay, let's try again. paint on this time. A lot of this paint that hasn't worked, I'm going to try some more experiments on tile. I'm going to add because a couple of these are pretty, there's a lot of paint there. So I might be able to just, I'm going to mix them all together and if nothing else, I'll use them on a background somewhere. Okay, let's see what happens here. Yeah, that black is not doing well, so I have to remember that. The black Artist Law Flow is not doing well for me with the pearl. It just, it really blends with the base coat, and then I get a gray out of it, which is fine if that's what you want. Up here, it stayed black. possible that I didn't make it, um, what do you call it, I put too much medium in that one. I tried to do them all the same, but the others were too paint, and that's, you can't measure the same if it's not the same type of paint. So that could be the problem, how it fades out. We'll see. Go this way just a little bit more. I'm getting some pearls up at the top where, where the black did stay. <clears throat> Bring it down. This one is definitely reacting better. Get a little more off. Sorry guys. Bring it back. So, so far what I've learned is don't use a cadmium yellow light hue in a pearl pour with my recipe anyway. The other colors I think are okay. The magenta is always good. The phthalo blue mixed with the golden. 
it's okay. But the black and the yellow, um, even though the black's doing well over here, hmm, it's the same consistency as the other colors. I think I just need to have more black in there and less, less medium. Because I thought the black, um, you know, I've done pearl pores for a couple years now. So if you look back, my prior videos, I have recipes and beautiful pearl paintings um, that turned out great. And I have used artist slop black, so I really think I messed up on the medium on this. Not enough pigment. So check them out. If you haven't subscribed, please do. It helps me out. If you click below, I have an Amazon shop. Everything that you see, or I won't say everything. Of course, some of this is Home Depot. But a lot of the things you see I've got on Amazon. Click that and you can shop for any of that stuff I've been using. I live in Hawaii, so I use Amazon a lot now. Because we don't have a Michaels here. We don't have a Hobby Lobby. Um, Michael's, it's expensive to ship here. So I just got back from California. I did a week trip, whirlwind. Bay Area, San Francisco, see my daughter, Grass Valley, see my friends, Reno. And I brought home a suitcase full of goodies. Had to go to Michael's and went to the dollar store, got a bunch of stuff. Oh, Trader Joe's. We don't have a Trader Joe's. We do have a Costco, so that's awesome. All right, so I'm going to go ahead and let it go. Bring it down a little bit. This one looks like it's going to turn out a little better. We'll see, and I'll be back. Okay, well this one didn't really pearl up either, very good. Um, it did a few pearls here. I don't know if I didn't get enough paint off. I guess I'm probably gonna just go back to my old recipe that worked, if I can find the right paint. Anyway, um, you give Tara's artistry a look and Grateful Creations, Michelle. Uh, also look back at some of my videos. I've done a bunch of pearl pours that actually did turn out, but um, stay tuned here. I'm going to have a, I'll have these, they're going to dry, then I'm going to put them side by side and you'll be able to see the dried results. Take care. Please like and subscribe. It really helps. Shop my Amazon links. I also am on TikTok and Instagram. You'll see all those links down below. And aloha, till next time. Bye-bye.